New movie is coming out real soon called Two Minutes of Fame. We're going to all watch the trailer together. Me, Larry, T-Streams, the Black Avengers of current culture. We're going to pick it apart after we get done watching it. And here we go. What's up with y'all, baby? It's DeAndre McDonald. Who is DeAndre McDonald? DeAndre. 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 DeAndre McDonald. What up? I don't care about them. Wanna be comedian? I'm the real thing. He does a good impression of you, though. How can I make the most amount of money while selling out the most amount of people? So you think I should have him killed? Dre, I work hard and I hold us down, but you do whatever you want. I'm gonna talk like Kevin Hart. Tell you why? Just because you're more handsome man than I am. <laughs> I'm not doing whatever I want. I'm following my dreams. You have a family. At a certain point, following your dreams is irresponsible. Jay, you got into the Laugh Out Loud showcase. We ain't going to LA, man. All the Christmas made. Maybe the time spent there chasing your dream hey. is better off spent here chasing a paycheck. Eddie Murphy being dope ass GPS, but your ass was to the south, your ass went north. If you would have listened, you would have been in the right place. But now, you stuck. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. So you checked out my set. That's you, too. You weren't bad. When every second is elevated, it might be the bit accelerated. Dre, you don't need to know this girl, man. She could be a temptress. Buzzing with the centerpiece, get a grip. I'm tripping off her energy, self empower, balance of symmetry. No. I ain't got to worry about this. Ha! Big dog! Arf, arf! Arf, arf! You know what? I'm just gonna call her. You convinced everybody around you to believe in you, and you don't believe in yourself. Don't be late for your little showcase, playboy. You're the reason it will last forever. You're the star that's staring back up in the mirror. That's special when you stand out from the rest. When you know that you're, you know that you're. Go. You are pushing it now. Okay? I'm pushing it. You know what's pushing? Your hairline. That's oh. one, two, way back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. I like that you need the movies to hurry up and open up. Okay. Now that was going straight to DVD. Is it? Yeah. 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 It says straight to DVD and digital on. I like that because I like yeah. I love me some Jay Farrell. Dude is tight. I yeah. like Jay Farrow, yeah. but I feel like that trailer just showed you the whole movie, in essence. That's what I yeah. feel like. My first impulse is it showed you the whole movie. It gave you the traditional kind of thing that husbands go through at wives, because a lot of wives feel like husbands, and in particular black wives, feel like husbands is always going off on wild goose chases, trying to get rich quick. And then while he's in the midst of trying to find his dream of being a, com a comedian, this other little hot thing pops up, who of course probably is going to be the glamour on. She's going to try to help him, boost him, whatever. And then we got to see Kiki Palmer's character become sad. They're going to probably break up for a little while. He's going to hit it big. Then they're going to come back together. Then she's going to realize her mistake. I kind of feel like I've seen this before. But Larry, T-Strings, I give it to y'all. Go ahead, Larry. I, I personally, when I see that and I saw the Kiki Kapamers character, I was thinking to myself, I hope he never gets back with her. That I was like, when I saw that, when I saw <laughs> that, that, that glamour, that, uh, that, you know, that, that big, uh, what'd you call her? A glamour on a glamour. Th whatever. Yeah, man. A glam thought. The glam glam thought. Glam I, when I saw thought. her, you know what I thought? I thought to myself, here is, here is a, a super hot woman that's recognizing talent. And oh. maybe her, maybe her talent is being a fantastic cheerleader. Maybe her talent is providing her man with so much confidence that when he walks outside the door every day, he thinks he can conquer the universe. He goes oh. out there feeling like Thanos. Whereas oh. Kiki Palmer's character is basically oh, always God. telling him, "Stop doing this. Stop getting it. Go get a job." Yada yada yada. Get, man. I've dealt with women like that. I, you you have to remember before I was doing, I mean, even doing this, I was a photographer. I, you can't tell you how many girlfriends I've had that told me, 
oh, <laughs> photographers don't make any money. You need to go get another type of job. You need to do this. Man, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Fuck them hating ass bitches. You know what? I'm glad that big glam thought got him. I hope he keeps her. He shouldn't even worry about calling her back. Larry, you need, to, you need to support. If you don't like the person that you're with, then go be with somebody else. But don't try and destroy their dreams because their dreams aren't what you want, or because they're brave enough to go after their dreams and you took the safe route. Don't, don't, don't try and destroy the person you're with because they're brave and you're not. You know, Larry, you make that glam thought sound like she's Hallie Roseman. She's a she better, be. she, she is a better picker of talent than the NFL scouts. My God, she, brother. She might be. T stream. Go ahead, drop us a line for Larry, get us in trouble. You know what, man? <laughs> I think, um, you know, sometimes you got to be real careful when you have so many, so many com comedians and stuff like that. I saw, uh, Cat Williams, Jess Hilarious, and then of course uh, Jay Farrell. I think it uh, that's something I actually want to check out. You know, uh, to to be able to check out a, a nice, good, you know, nice, good comedy. I'm hoping that you know they could they could have gave the whole storyline away, and you know, in that short trailer. Uh, for the most part, I hope that they didn't. I think I, I hope that it would be. Um, <clears throat> some type of twist and stuff like that but you know you, you do you do see quite a mo few movies where the guy messes up he, he has the girl he messes up he's on this journey and at the end of the journey he gets back okay mm -hmm. that that is a a uh a cliched storyline that we've probably seen hundreds of times mm -hmm. on both uh black white and mixed platforms uh, right so, so as as long as they can you know tweak the story you know i'm just surprised that you know that <laughs> they'll have it and um because cat williams be sort of tight with some of the against some of the the, the newer talent coming up you know and so i'm i'm sort of surprised to see you know see him get in and 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 work that out i think it, i think it'll be pretty interesting i'm waiting no. Waiting for it to drop. When did it say it's dropping? Uh, di didn't say. I had to go back and check on that for you. But I mean, I'm gonna watch it for sure. I like Cat Williams, and um, I kind of agree with some of the things Cat Williams had to say about um, what's her name? Um, the comedian just getting up. Yeah, Tiffany had. I kind of agree with some of that stuff, man. I mean, um, but I I'm I'm happy to see him finally getting a role where he's not the court jester, so to speak. Right. So. I can deal with that, um, but we'll have to see. Um, I just don't want it to have some of that Tyler Perry feel to it. And uh, uh, mm. one of my radars is up. One of them, not both of them, but one of them. Mm. Yeah, man, yeah. yeah. I, I hope not neither, man, because I just got this TV, and I'd hate to have to kick it. Yeah, yeah. Don't kick it. Don't kick it. Don't kick it. It ain't worth that, brother. It ain't worth the kicking of the TVs now. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Ooh. All right, I, I will say that. I will say that. It, it does look funny. There's a lot of comedians in there. I, I, I have not been the biggest fan of Cat Williams probably until just very recently because I've seen some stuff that he's done that he, to me, I think as he's gotten a bit older, he's been, he's been funnier for me. Mm -hmm. And I've always felt like he's just, I feel like he's played himself short. Like he did the whole little short pimping dude you know i feel like he was like he, to me cat wins is somebody i think he could have done who could have benefited greatly if he went to a place like snl because mm -hmm. snl would have taken him forced him out of his comfort zone mm -hmm. and still made him funny but they he would have been funny in a much broader sense he would have been able to right. create more characters and and just been a more diverse kind of funny than just that one because because i mean for a long time, I felt like he was just, I mean, he was talking about Tiffany Hatch being a one trick pony for a long time. I felt he was just a one trick pony mm -hmm. and it was boring after a while. It was fun for the first minute or so. And then it was kind of like, eh, it's okay. I'm over it. So I, I still think he, you know, he could have done, he would have been served well on a place like, uh, like SNL, you know, hey, maybe, maybe this is his reemergence. You know, my man yeah. had some issues. He wigged out. Um, he was running around naked, smoking weed, got arrested, and, I, and now maybe he's got all that taken care of. 
and he's turning over a new leaf.